Hey there, it's Tanya from Royal City Nursery and we are standing in our fruit tree yard. I wanted to answer a couple of questions though. One of the biggest questions we get in the garden center is I want to plant a fruit tree. Awesome. Step one, check. But how many do I actually need and what do I need in order to get fruit? When we're thinking about apples, pears, cherries and plums, those are the four most common and those are also the four hardiest ones. So again, apples, cherries, pears and plums. We need to make sure you've got two different apples, two different pears, two different cherries and two different plums. Why? You need them for cross-pollination. Cross Let's say that nine times fast. Um, because if you don't, if you just have a single, the bees are going to get lonely. And if your neighbors don't have one, the bees are still lonely. So the only exception though, we're going to take a look at this little apple tree right in front of me. This is called a combination apple. And when you look at it, it's got all kinds of fancy labels on it. And we're going to leave all those labels right there. What has happened is there's a number of branches like this one. So this is a gala apple. This has been grafted onto the trunk. And then if we go up here, we've got a pink lady. I've got... That one's a honey crisp. That's one of my favorite apples. Super juicy. And then down here, we've got Fuji, amazing eating and cooking. So we've got four, actually there's five different kinds of apples that have been grafted onto one tree. So this is the exception. So that means you only need one apple tree. Ah, we get apples on one tree. When we graft things like this, the next question is, is this GMO? Absolutely not. This is hybridized and more importantly, it's grafted. So, and that, that's gonna be one of the big distinctions. Um, when we graft things like this, what it means is we're gonna end up with a shorter plant. So that's fantastic. So we're looking at a plant that's gonna do 10 to 15 feet in height. It still needs lots and lots of sun. It needs the appropriate soil. So you should be using a good tree and shrub soil together with some bone meal or some root rescue as a transplanter and that's going to get everything off to a really, really good start. But if we take a peek at some of the other things that are here, so if we buy an apple that's just an apple tree, like this one here is Portland, really good, good crispy apple. If we just took this one home and planted it properly, if there's no other apple in the neighborhood, we're not getting the apples, which kind of sucks. So we need to make sure, again, we've got two different kinds of apples. So you've got a Portland, this particular one next to it is Gravenstein. You've got a John of Gold here. So any one of those three apples, well really any two of those three apples, and you'll make sure you get fruit. When we look at cherries, so that's where we are right now, cherries are a little bit different. Sour cherries, you just need one. So whether it's North Star or Montmorency, beautiful, beautiful sour cherry. They also pollinate your sweet cherries. But sour cherry, you need one. Sweet, you need two. That's where it gets a little tricky. So if we're looking at a Bing cherry, for instance, that's a big, black, juicy one we get in the grocery store. It has to have another cherry. You could actually do it a sweet and a sour. That's totally fine. Doesn't matter. Um, but you need to remember that for cherries. And then when we look at pear trees, we're gonna back up a little bit more. So pears are just like apples. You can get a single one. This particular one here is Anju. Love, love, love Anju pears. You could also get a Bartlett. So we've all seen those in the grocery store. So you could plant one of each and still have pears. Or if we take a look at this one, this is just like the apple tree that we saw at the beginning. Look at all the tags. So here I've got a red Bartlett that's been grafted onto the trunk. We also have got a Harrow Crisp. There's a Bartlett, that's one of the green ones. And who's here? And we've got Summer Crisp. So again, we got four or five different kinds on the same plant, so it makes it a lot easier. So you can get combination pears, combination apples. We do carry combination cherries and also combination plums, so it makes it a little bit easier. So next time you're in shopping for for some fruit trees. Hopefully that helps. Don't forget you need a really good triple mix or a tree and shrub soil, some transplanters, so that would be either bone meal or root rescue, and we'll help you the rest of the way. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.